Hello and welcome back to this series on OCR and Python using PyTesseract. In this video, and really the next video, we're going to be tackling a single OCR problem, and that is how to OCR a tri column or an index. And what we're going to see here is that we're going to be working with Latin. If you don't know Latin, don't worry at all. This is just going to be a case study. We can do this with any language. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to try to use PyTesseract and Pillow to automatically OCR this entire page. And what we're going to see by the end of this video is that just OCRing it is not going to work very well. We're going to need to do some pre-processing methods that are a little bit more complex than what we've seen in the past. Specifically, what we need to do is we need to extract the sections that we want to OCR, specifically these columns, so that we can have better OCR results and OCR results that will be in sequential order. I'm going to be going over how to achieve that in the next video. And uh, really, it's going to just follow this one immediately after. For this video, though, we need to learn the basics. We need to learn how to open up the file and how to actually OCR it like we've seen in the past. But most importantly, we need to understand why these methods won't work in order to understand why we need to use more robust methods to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing that we need to do is we need to import PyTesseract like we've seen in previous videos. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually import pillow, which we're going to be using to solve this uh, to solve this problem. We're not going to be using OpenCV in this um, in this video. And specifically from pillow, we need to import image with a capital I. Let's go ahead and execute that cell. Fantastic. The next thing we need to do is we need to identify the file location. We're going to create an object called data, and I've got this stored as index underscore o2 dot jpg. So index underscore o2 dot jpg. That's going to be our actual file. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to open up that file. So let's go ahead and do that. To do that, we're going to say image is equal to image with a capital I dot open, and we're going to open up that image underscore file. And if that runs correctly, then you've done everything right so far. The next thing that we need to do is we need to pass that image into PyTesseract. So we're going to create an object called OCR result, and we're going to make that equal to PyTesseract dot. And this is where we're going to pass in one single, uh, or we're going to call in the image to string. And to do that, we're going to say image underscore two underscore string, and we're going to pass in one argument, and that's going to be our image file. Now, once we've done that, PyTesseract is running and it's OCRing that image for us. And once those results are done, we're going to be able to do print off OCR underscore result. And let's see what that looks like. It looks pretty good. We're getting the whole page though. And this is one of the limitations with PyTesseract is it's trying to understand this whole page as a single column of text. We haven't given it any specific instructions. Whenever you can take a multi-column page and reduce it to individual columns that can be individually OCR'd, you're always gonna have better results. Nevertheless, this is not too shabby. Were I interested in constructing uh, and uh, taking this OCR to generate a list of named entities or potential named entities, which this is, it's an indices of names, which is what that means in Latin, index nominum, um, then I would need to do some other things. And that's going to be what our goal is over the course of this video and the next video, is to generate an output that looks something like this, a list of named entities that are going to be occurring in a specific text. This is going to be very useful for making NER models, which I or named entity recognition models, which I've dealt with a whole bunch on the series and I've written a textbook on. So let's go ahead and start thinking about ways that we can take this output right now and start doing that. Well, one of the things I could do is I could eliminate all the line breaks in this, right? And then one of the things I could do is on each line, I could eliminate or separate everything out with a space. And then after that, I could start making some um, deductions. I could say like, if if the uh, first letter of that uh, item on the page begins with a capital letter, then maybe that's going to be where I want to start. But, but I have to do a lot of post-processing. One of the things that I can do, however, using PyTesseract and OpenCV that Pillow cannot do, is I can use computer vision to automatically identify 
columns in this image and then go through and OCR each individual column. And what you're going to find is that by doing this, you're going to have better OCR results. The OCR, res OCR results will be in um, left to right order if we sort the contours, which I'm going to cover in the next video. And the other thing that's going to be better is that we're going to have an easier time at generating rules that will consistently work across an entire index, not just one page. As always, I try to keep all of my content on this channel free to the public. If you enjoy this channel and you're getting a lot out of it, please consider contributing via Patreon. And as always, thank you to my Patreon supporters.